Good morning guys, welcome back to another all day thrifting trip. Even though it snowed a bunch, we are outside of Rethink Thrift where it is half off the entire store. So let's run inside and see what we can find to flip for a profit. First find in the case is an Amazon Kindle for five. Well, this is a new one for a thrift store. Who's donating you guys swords? <laughs> Some Hoka's for 15. The fry boots are still here, so they're only going to be 15. They go for about 70. Harry Potter pop-up guide to Hogwarts. Huh, that's super cool. I'm going to put this in the cart and look it up in a bit. Another pair of Hoka's for 15 as well. They are missing in, ooh, a little rough on the bottoms. They're missing insoles. So these ones I'll probably leave behind. These new balances should be good. This mile sells pretty well for me, and they're only going to be three bucks. They are missing insoles, but I can replace those. Those are probably a $30 pair. Grab these Sorel Joan of Arc Hidden Wedge Boots. These sell really well. These are $7.50 and these should go for roughly $50. All right, there's this Barbie Aviator. I missed earlier over here by the glass case. The box has a little damage, but that's like fixable. It's just kind of opened up. So it's not too bad. It's gonna be 10 bucks. And there's five listed, five sold, and they sell for roughly 50. All right, I am gonna leave back the Hogwarts book. It has a MSRP of $80. But it's just not selling, like $15 used plus shipping, so. The Amazon Kindle is the model D00701. It sells for about 30 and it has the case, so I'm gonna get it for five. I was about to check out and I saw this Michael Kors bag and it's in like fantastic condition. It's gonna be $4, which for its condition, it's, I'm gonna get that. I don't pick up a lot of handbags and purses, but I know Michael Kors is decent. It's not like the highest end one, but I'm guessing I should get 30, maybe more. All right, guys, $54 spent on everything. The Fry boots will make me the money back on their own, along with these Sorel boots. The Hoka's 15 is paying up for them in this condition. They're missing insoles. They do have some tread wear, but not too bad. But that's the Bondi 8 model, and I'll still get probably 50 for those pretty easily. Uh, you, you guys saw the Michael Kors bag, the Amazon Kindle, and the Barbie. So overall, for $54, you can't go wrong. Now we oh, trek through the snow to Goodwill. We are now at my Belgrade Goodwill. You might be asking why I'm only wearing a hoodie with my sleeves rolled up. Even though we got a lot of snow, it's not that cold out. It's pretty warm, it's melting very quickly. It's been a, it's been a weird winter here. I haven't heard of this brand, but it feels like good quality and I already know this is gonna sell. I mean, look at that, it's Godzilla holding a plane. Spacecraft, ski snowboard jacket. I guarantee that's worth it. All right, I knew as soon as I saw a BMW, this would be worth picking up. A BMW power handle, it's four bucks. I should get 25 to 30, free ship, but it's lightweight. They have put a lot of new stuff out in the hard goods, but nothing worth flipping. It's just mostly just a bunch of junk, but a lot of new stuff. So they're at least restocking. Hmm. Some mountain hardware mitts, uh, they're six bucks though. I don't think they're gonna be worth that much. They might be, I'm not gonna look them up. Just cause I highly doubt it. The mountain hardware is a great brand. I do still look at mitts and stuff and gloves, like Spider, that's a great brand. They have Gore-Tex, so that stain's not gonna come out. Otherwise those would be $20 gloves. Yeah, just, if there's stuff you don't typically look at, just look at them. Go through, glance at it, see if you can teach yourself a new brand, cause you never know. Like there's some good brands over here just not in good condition. If these Ariat shoes were in better condition, I would totally get them even at 10 bucks, which is paying up. That style of Ariat shoes surprisingly does really well. I picked a pair up in a recent video and they already sold for 45 and those, they sell pretty quickly, that style. These might be good though. These are 10 as well, I just saw on the bottom. I have never seen Uggs that look like this. And usually they mark Uggs here at like 15 to 20. I mean, they're a little dirty, but overall for 10 bucks, that's good, probably a good buy. Am I the only one who falls for cheap brand knockoffs of like, like Doc Martens? You see these and you think, ooh, Docs, definitely not Docs. And I fall for it almost every time. I have found absolutely nothing for this brand on eBay. I'm gonna try Google lensing it. Either way, I'm gonna get it. This is just it's so cool. It's definitely gonna be worth it. It says uh, Strauss on the side, so I don't know if that's like a Levi's thing. But we shall see. All right, just checked out. I spent $24. I forgot to pay attention to that. I could not find anything on this spacecraft jacket. 
I am gonna have to do a lot more research, but I guarantee, just it's nice quality, I guarantee that's a $50 bill easily. It might be more, might be less, but I bet you it's at least 50. The Uggs, I looked them up and they go for about 40 to 50. They're a pretty decent model. The BMW power handle, so overall, $24. I'll make my money back, even if the jacket's not worth anything. It's obviously not the best start to the day that we've had thrifting, but I'm not complaining because tomorrow we have a massive indoor flea market that's going on. It's a once a year thing. Uh, I haven't been to it, but I'm really excited. I heard there's a lot of vendors and there's not a lot of resellers in my town, so I'm pretty excited. Plus, next week I am going down to Utah for a thrifting road trip again. So, you know, if today's uh, a miss, it's not the end of the world. We are now at Four Corners Thrift. The last big snowstorm we got, they closed due to road conditions. Luckily, it all melted so quickly, so there's going to be open today, so we're going to run in here now. Oh, well. These are super cool. 80 though. In the women's shoes, I just found these Merrill snow boots for 10. They're not the best model, but they'll sell for about 35 plus shipping, so I'm gonna get them. We just might have found my best thrift store find at this store ever. I found better finds elsewhere, but guys, guys. Okay, Hermes. 3000 typewriter. It's in like excellent condition. I just, you know, follow the keys. It's $15. $15. $15. Did I mention $15? $857. 440, but that's on bid. 600 best offer. 475, 350, four. Right. It's going down the, lo the lower I go, but it was higher, like 700. <laughs> Um, and the ones listed are all like seven to eight hundred, seven twenty, nine forty nine, five hundred. Yeah, yeah. And I was talking down about today, saying it was a meh day, and here we are. There's this Dyson down here, and it's thirty. That's not a bad deal, but I'll wait to see if it's still here on half off. Leaving now. That was all I ended up getting. When I looked up the typewriter, I expected it to be worth like eighty, maybe a hundred, hundred and twenty. But not six to seven hundred. That is incredible. We are off to another thrift store now. We are now in downtown Bozeman at Saks. That might be the creepiest plush I've ever seen. So we just struck out there. Uh, that's okay. Like I said, we've got some big uh, sourcing trips coming up. Um, I'm going to head to one more thrift store. And I will probably... I usually only do one video a week showing myself at storage, pulling some orders and talking to you guys. But I think I have some good sales going out today. It's Friday for me. So we're probably going to head there after the next thrift store and show you some of the cool things I sold. And as you know, every 1,000 subscribers, I am giving away a four pack of American Bubble Boy bubble wrap. So make sure you're subscribed for a chance to win. We are now at Do-Overs Thrift, and this place used to be an old Goodwill in my town, but they closed it down and turned it into just a small local store. I had no idea Pendleton made muck boots. They're 20 bucks, which is gonna be a little too steep for me. But those are cool. I mean, they might be worth it, but they're just so dirty. These Timberland Timberland boots are only 20. That's a good brand, but they're just a little too worn. I just pulled this off a new rack. You see that logo? It's pretty good. Kari Tra. This is a woman's, you know, just basic jacket. It's $5. And this should go for about 30 pretty quickly. There it is. It sells really well. I ended up only getting that uh, Kari Tra sweatshirt. I would say it's been a slow, poor day of sourcing, but I really can't considering I found that six to eight hundred dollar item. Um, so obviously that makes today worth it. It just it feels slow because the majority of the thrift stores usually I find you know at least three or four things. But you know what? I cannot complain. I have great thrift stores. I'm very blessed. I am gonna see you guys at storage. We are now at my storage unit where we're going to pull some orders. We have some fantastic sales going out, including some things you might have seen in recent videos. First thing going out is the Toomey suitcase. 
And since I gotta move this, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about it. So if you guys remember, or if you saw my Utah thrifting trips, I picked up this wall clock for $8.99 and thought it was gonna be worth around $75 to $80. I guess this model's a little bit more rare or expensive, and I currently have it listed for 230 and it has multiple watchers. I just wanna let you guys know because I never let you guys know after uh, finding it in the Utah trip, but let me move that and get this down. Okay, if you missed the recent video where I found this, it is a good one, like a really good one. Check it out, T-U-M-I. That is a brand to remember. I sold that suitcase, it's a small one too, for $200. That is insane. I paid 20 for it. Another fantastic sale I picked up in a very recent video as well is this Toyota car stereo unit. Um, it is the model 86100-35191. I paid $10 for this and it sold for $300 and it sold in a week. I picked up this little Dooney and Burke wallet recently for five bucks at the thrift store. And you guys saw it in a video. If, if you guys have been subscribed, if not, subscribe and go check out my past videos. They're awesome. <laughs> but I picked this up for five bucks and it sold for 35. You guys know I love parting out ninja blenders. Um, let me try to get this off. Oh, those lids have uh, quite the suction to them. I sold this replacement lid only for $27. If you see them, part them out. They sell very well. Over in one of my two walls of uh, ski snowboard boots are these Burton Lexa snowboard bindings. I picked these up in Utah for $3.99. They took me a while to list because I, I didn't think they were so valuable. But these, I guess, are pretty expensive. I sold these for $60, and I think, yeah, I, think I said it, $3.99 is what I paid. I get a lot of comments from people who are not resellers, who are debating whether or not they should get into it. And in my opinion, yeah, you should at least give it a try. When I started, I was working seasonal work in Glacier National Park up in northern Montana. I lived in an, in employee housing, a very tiny room, and there's a supply closet at the end of the hall that wasn't being used. And I, there's some Goodwills and some thrift stores an hour and a half away. So, you know, on my... Every once in a while I would drive up, go thrifting, buy a few things, and I kept them in this small little supply closet. And throughout that time, I was making an extra 500 a week, uh, some three to 500 a week, barely working, shipping out, you know, three items a day. It's n that's not a lot of work. It's pretty easy. If you have a full-time job and you want some extra income, I think reselling is fantastic. I mean, it's, yeah, if you want to do it part-time and just work out of a small closet, it's very doable. How many pairs of shoes do you guys think I have? Like, honestly, I don't even know. But I, I did sell a few. Um, I sell quite a bit of shoes. Shoes are my biggest seller. I sell probably 20 pairs a week. Actually, more than that. Probably close to 30 pairs a week. I sell a lot of shoes. I'm going to show you some of the ones that sold. I don't pick up all Pumas, but when you see shoes that are, you know, they have this massive platform, really thick soles. Uh, they're usually worth pretty good money and they sell very hot. This is the style is in right now. I paid $10 for these and these sold fast for $45. All right, I sold these Nike Stefan Janowskis. If you see it, it's always on the tag. That's a really good model of Nike to pick up. I probably paid, sorry, sorry the lighting's bad. Okay, probably paid between seven, five to seven dollars for these and they sold for 50. These took a little while to sell, but I'm glad they finally sold. This is the last pair of shoes I'm gonna show you guys. If I can get the lighting right, <laughs> there we go. Uh, these are SAS. I paid $5.99 for them. I'm gonna have to get that off the shoe before selling, but that's pretty easy. They'll come off pretty quickly with some acetone. Um, but yeah, SAS, San Antonio Shoe Company shoes. The sandals surprisingly do very well. They're worth pretty good money. They take a little while to sell though. These sold for 45 and took a few months. That's going to be the last pair of shoes I show you guys. I know a lot of you like shoes. A lot of you guys get bored with shoes. So I figured throw a few in here with every video and keep, you know, everyone happy for the most part. You don't have to spend too much time watching shoes. You don't have to see too few of shoes. Win-win, right? I don't know what I'm doing. Fishing reels are one thing I like to sell. They're pretty simple. They usually go first class and they're just easy to list, easy to ship. This is a Zebco, which is a decent brand not crazy but they do make some good stuff uh the predator predator model and these sold this one sold for 25 i think i got them in a lot of like 20 uh reels in a big box for only 10 bucks a while ago 
Down here is my shelf of Scentsies. I sold, sorry, I have to kind of be careful with them for the most part. I got some cool ones, but they kind of take a while to sell. They used to sell pretty quickly for me, but not too much anymore. I sold this Scentsy Hope and Strength uh, candle warmer for 35. But that is going to be the last thing I show you guys. I am going to grab the rest of what's sold, head home, pack them up, get them shipped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, every 1,000 subscribers, I am giving away a four-pack of American Bubble Boy bubble wrap. So make sure you're subscribed for a chance to win. I'll see you next time.